Okay, I'm going to be giving you a tour of a 15-foot U-Haul truck with the mom's attic. So first off, let me say, if you can afford to get the Safe Move or the Safe Move Plus that they offer, definitely do it. If you can't afford it or don't want to get it, make sure you go over that truck every inch and document any kind of damage that's not already documented. You see this little X here sticker that's already documented damage. If it's not documented, tell somebody immediately before you even put the key in the door because you will be responsible and it's expensive. In my case, when I went to um, pick up the truck, look at this. There was like a little uh, crack here. So I made sure I told the lady um, and she documented it before I started driving it. And then I even did a video um, just to make sure. I mean, you have to cover your own butt because it's, repairs are expensive. You can see that was an already known damage. And this just takes regular gas, not diesel. Um, but yeah, I actually recommend just getting like the safe move if you can. If you're only driving a couple miles, like if you want to chance it, but if you're not getting the safe move, please, please, please make sure that you <laughs> document, go over the truck three times and document everything. Okay, so there's the controls. And make sure you take a picture of the fuel gauge and the mileage before you even start driving the truck. There's the AC, the radio, there's a glove compartment right here. And you can see the passenger seat here. And I don't know if all 15 foot trucks are the same, but look at this. They even have this seat here, like a third seat. I have rent, rented them before, like in the past, and they haven't had this third seat. So I don't know if this is just like a new thing, or maybe only some of them have the third seat. Um, but yeah, I think it's nice to have this. Does it have a seat belt, though? Uh, yeah, it does. So yeah, three seats here, and then of course the driver's seat. I'll show you. Um, here's the back. You cannot see in the back yeah underneath this is what it sounds like when it starts I am going to start it up so you can hear it and here's what the inside of the glove compartment looks like here is the driver's seat and then you have the emergency brake there Here's the door. So here is the inside of the 15 foot truck. Let's go in. Um, it does have a ramp, the 15 foot. I'm not gonna pull it out, but the ramp is here. They don't all have a ramp, so make sure you pay attention to that. If you need a ramp, which usually you do, um, make sure you get one. And you can see it stays latched with this. And then, of course, it has the tow hitch here. All right, so let's go in. They always seem to have these three wooden, I don't know if that's like a thing or a reason why. Let me know in the comments. You can see that. And this has the mom's attic. I just recently found out that 10 foot trucks do not have the mom's attic. That's these little cubbies up above. So if you need the mom's attic, make sure you're not doing a 10 foot truck without the mom's attic. Yeah, and then this side has the three wooden rails as well. I don't think I've ever run into U-Haul that it's not all scratched up on the floor, but of course it's gonna be like that. And look at this. 
Save $25, return truck, swept, clean, and furniture pads folded to avoid service charge. Yeah. And right here, look, caution, 300 pounds, maximum load in mom's attic. What is that? It's just the corner up there. They do have these little handles on the back on both sides and it really does help getting in and out. So I really like that they have these. And then there's the strap to pull it down. And then make sure you lock it. I have seen people driving without it being latched. Make sure it's always latched. This is the back of this one. instructions before using easy load ramp you can scan to watch a video door handle assembly video before opening door etc etc so ba basically all you do is push this little latch make sure it's pushed over push it down so you can see it's locked there and then right here like the safety and this is where you refuel like i said it doesn't take diesel but it doesn't take e85 So yeah, that's the 15 foot moving truck with the um, mom's attic.